Welcome back everyone to another FEMAP tutorial. This one is again for beginners to take a look at how we're gonna create an element and then we're gonna seed it and mesh it. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna create a geometry. I'm gonna create a line. Okay, well, let's see we're gonna use project points. Okay, he's asking for the coordinates. I'm gonna leave the first coordinate at the origin. So click OK. The other one, let's make it like, let's see, maybe two meters long. Okay, click OK. And there it is. We have our line. Click OK. I mean, cancel that out. Uh, let's see, let's go to view, visibility, and let's visualize. See, none of the geometry is highlighted for us to see. I want to see the L, uh, the L rods identity number and also the points. So whenever we talk in geometry, this would be a line and the end would be a point, right? So those would be the one. If I would be working with an orphan mesh where there's no geometry, just mesh, then the points would be nodes and the line would be the element. Okay? But we are working with a geometry. There you have it. Okay, click done. There you go. That's what we have. Now let's go ahead and add uh, material right here. Model material. Click on it. I'm going to call it uh, my material. Material type. I'm going to leave it isentropic. Uh, isotropic. Click OK. Young's modules, let's do uh, 200 e to the 9, Poisson's ratio 0.33, eh, that'll do it. Okay, now let's, oh, I don't want another one, cancel it out. Model, let's add a property right here. Okay, so my rod, I'm gonna call it, because we're gonna set it up with a rod element over here. At material, make sure you pick the material that we just set up. We only have one set up, so that's the only one it shows. If you've been working with FEMAP for a while and you set up several, then you would have more than one to choose. So then like right here, element property type. We're gonna be working with rod. Click OK. And uh, we're gonna add an area of, let's say, uh, 2 E negative 3. There you go. That's uh, good. And click OK. And we are done with that. Okay. Now we are ready to uh, let's visualize uh, Control Q or go to View, View and Visibility. Control Q, shortcut. I have a geometry here, right? That means I have a curve. I want to see its identity and its points identity one and two done there you go now we are ready to do some meshing but first i'm gonna seed the mesh first and then actually mesh it so go to mesh mesh control size along curve it's asking what curve i want to do same thing this would we would have a hundred uh, lines in a bigger structure right we would pick whatever line we want here we only have one so that's the only one I'm gonna pick okay and it's asking me how many elements do I want to discretize it with I want to do it let's say with three so we can click okay and what do we see cancel this out what do we see we can see that we still have only one element it's not broken up but we can see where the seed is planted, right? We're gonna have one element, two elements, three elements, okay? And now we're gonna go ahead and actually do the meshing. So back to the mesh button, geometry, and curve. Select which one it is. For me, select all. That's the only one that exists. Okay. My rod, select it for property. Okay. Now let's take a look what do we have now. So let's go control Q and bring back the visualization window and let's see, turn everything off. Now let's take a look at what kind of geometry we have, right? Look at our points and our curve. We have one curve and two 
points. Let's turn back off. Now let's take a look at our mesh. How many nodes we have? One, two, three, four. How many elements we have? Let me turn the nodes off. One element, two element, three element, right? If we wanna see right here these two buttons, this one, we can turn off the geometry, which is the cyan color, see? Cyan is showing us the line of the geometry. I click it, turn it off. The white is the color of the mesh. I can turn the mesh off with this one as well and then we can't see anything. But there you go. This is the mesh. We can see the three elements. One, two, three. And turn back the geometry, which is these two. Let me put the control Q. Get rid of the elements. And then put back the curve and the two points. There you go. Or if I want to see all of them. There you go, then you can see a whole bunch of stuff and sometimes that's how it displays it and you can't really tell what's what. So, make sure if you put everything on, like all on, then that's why you always end up with this kind of stuff where you can't see the number or it looks weird, because most likely it's showing geometry, mesh, everything in one place. Or you have nodes that did not uh, get merged in some bigger uh, projects, but we'll talk about those later. Alrighty, so I think that should do it for this video and let me turn the two points eh, no maybe I'll turn the nodes on there you go there you go that would do it all right thank you for watching please like and subscribe and tune in for the next one have a good one